Knowing the total hardness of water is important for controlling scale buildup in drinking water systems and boiler heat exchangers. It also affects certain cleaning agents, turning them into scum and diminishing the formation of suds. Total harness is determined by the concentration of multivalent cations in water. The Hawk Titer Lab measures these ions by titration using a calcium ion selective electrode and an EDTA as the titrant. In this video, we are going to show you how to operate the Hawk Titer Lab for total hardness. You should already have all the components of the instrument assembled and reagents for the analysis as described in the manual. You will need the following additional reagents and labware to perform the analysis. We will perform the analysis using the Hawk Titer Lab for total hardness and a Hawk standard of 10,000 milligrams per liter hardness as CaCO3. To make sure you are in the correct units for your results and to check the results factor for the buffer you are using, turn on the instrument. Select System. Select Hardness Units. Select milligrams per liter CaCO3 from the list. You may select a different unit for your results to be displayed in according to your needs. If you need to change the results factor for your results due to a change in titrant or volume of sample, select Factor. Use the right and left arrow keys to scroll over to the digit and press the up and down arrows to scroll through the correct number. Press the check button to return to the previous screen and the return button twice to return to the main menu. Make sure all fittings and the syringe are tight. Prior to the analysis, prime the burette and tris buffer pump. This should be done once daily to make sure all air bubbles are out of the lines and you have fresh buffer being delivered into your samples. On the keypad, scroll to manual activation. Select burette. Make sure there is a waste beaker under the electrode. Press the up key to empty the syringe and the down key to fill the syringe. Do this several times until all the air is removed from the syringe and the tubes. To prime the pump for the tris buffer on the keypad, scroll to pumps. Make sure there is a waste beaker under the electrode. Press the check button and let the pump run for 4 to 8 seconds and press the check key again to turn off the pump. Press the return button twice to return to the main menu. We are now ready to run the analysis. Place a waste beaker under the probe on the stand and rinse well with DI water. Blot the probe dry using a chem wipe or accu wipe. To make the standard, break open a new ampule of the 10,000 milligrams per liter CaCO3 standard using an ampule breaker.
pipette, 0.5 milliliters of 10,000 milligrams per liter CaCO3 standard into approximately 40 milliliters of DI water. Bring the volume of sample to 50 milliliters using DI water. Mix well, then pour into a clean sample cell. Place a stir bar into the standard. Place the sample onto the stir stand and lower the electrode into the solution. On the screen, select Analyze Hardness, Start Analysis. Once the analysis is completed, your results are displayed on the screen. Here are the results for our analysis. If you press the right or left arrow keys, you can see the volume to reach the inflection point of the titration. Our result of 99.3 milligrams per liter CaCO3 is within the expected range of plus or minus 10% of 100 milligrams per liter CaCO3. Press the return key to return to the main menu. If your results are consistently outside the acceptable range, make sure you have the correct titrant and results factored enter into the instrument. You are using the correct volume of sample and that your probe is in good condition. Good laboratory practices help determine other issues that might need to be addressed. Thank you for taking time to learn how to run a total hardness analysis and QC analysis on the Hawk Titer Lab system for total hardness. Please see other Hawk Technical Training Center videos for additional instruments and procedures.